Welcome to Benji Man TV. Today I'm bringing you a special episode at one of my favorite places. I'm in the heart of the International District in Seattle, Washington, right next to Seahawks Stadium, the Waji Maya, an Asian food market. This is a place you want to go. Asian foods, ingredients you need for Japanese cooking, a lot of things that you just can't find at most supermarkets. This is a place to go. Let's go check out what they have to offer and I'll, I'll tell you exactly why I love it here. Right when you first walk into the Wajimaya, one of the things I love the most is it reminds me of an actual Japanese supermarket. It's like a trip down memory lane and guess what? Just love it here. What I like to go to is the exotic stuff, the stuff you can't find anywhere else. Let's go check it out. Obviously, like things like coconuts you can find at any supermarket, but can you find a jackfruit? Look at this jackfruit, it's beautiful. They've got this durian. If you ever watch the Travel Channel, you know this is like the stinky fruit. Um, obviously, like tons of exotic fruits that you can get here, I just love it. So if you guys watch my channel, you know I love Japanese cooking. It's really difficult to find Japanese ingredients that you need for Japanese recipes. Guess what, they got everything here. Uh, this is a Chinese eggplant, they also have nasubi which is like a Japanese eggplant. Another thing I love about the uh, produce section here is not only do they try to get like as much organic stuff but they try to get top quality produce here so you know just like any other grocery store you can find everything you want but you're getting the best stuff here at this grocery store. In addition to all the rare produce they have I love the ingredients you can buy from cooking so let's go check it out. La <laughs> Look, hot sauces, 10 kinds of soy sauce, fish oils, I mean like anything you need for your culinary experience as a chef, this is the place to go. Tons of noodles, look this whole, this whole area is all noodles. Ramen, udon noodle, hiyashuka, yakisoba, everything right here. Are you a ramen lover? Do you like literally survive off of ramen? Well if you guys like ramen, this is the aisle to be in. And guess what? Shin ramen! This is a place where you have an endless supply of all types of ramen and guess what? It's probably one of the reasons why you would probably want to come here because look at this. Japanese ramen, Thai ramen, Malaysian, we got Chinese, we got all kinds of noodles here. All freeze dried, all ready to go and guess what? They're so delicious. Oh, this is one of my favorites right here actually. It's from Thailand. Spicy. Love spicy. If you're new to Asian food and you're like, well, I wouldn't even know what to buy, the one aisle I would suggest visiting when coming to the Wajim Isle is the snack aisle, Pocky. You've heard that there's like a million flavors. Well, guess what? They've got those flavors here for you. We've got chocolate, we've got strawberry, gigantic pokey, savory, extra strawberry pokey with almonds on it. It's like decadent right there. Obviously, any trip to the Wajimai wouldn't be fitting if you don't check out their seafood department. This is on a whole nother level. They've got live fish tanks here, okay? You like sushi? They actually have sushi you can buy here, okay? Another great thing is they've got a great selection of fresh fish here you can get. And guess what? The fishmongers really know what they're talking about. So I would definitely come here if you're looking to get good seafood, whether that's salmon or some like tuna for sushi. This is the place to go. So in Japanese cooking, a lot of meats need to be prepared in a certain way and no one does it better than the Wajimaya. For example, shabu shabu, sukiyaki, uh, all kinds of like all natural meats. And you know me, I like organic. At their Bellevue location, they actually have organic shabu shabu meat, which is really cool. They've got tocino, longanisa, any Filipinos watching, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They make it fresh right here. You know what, if you come here and you really just don't know what to buy, the least you can do is check out their food court. And guess what, for an Asian food lover, this is a place to be. Whether it's Chinese food, Japanese food, Thai, bubble tea, you're gonna find it here. In fact, anytime I'm in the area, even if I'm not shopping at the grocery store, I'm coming here to eat lunch. So this is a place you wanna check out. I have Twitter, Benjamin TV, and I tweeted yesterday that I'm gonna be here. And guess what? Brian and Evan were nice enough to come and visit. Uh, Brian, what do you think about the supermarket and like what they have to offer? 
Well, it's great because you can get stuff that you can't get anywhere else, yep, right? Yep. So if you're making your Asian dish or your shop the shop or exactly, you got, yep. You got to come here. Well, there you have it, the Wajimaya. Like I said, whether you're looking for that ingredient for like some recipe you just can't find, or you're just here for lunch, check it out. The Wajimaya, I love it because it's a family-owned business or a local grocery chain. Bellevue here in Seattle, even Beaverton, Oregon. So go check them out if you're near one. Follow them on Instagram. I love watching their food pictures or their food porn pictures. And follow me on Instagram as well, Benjamin Food or Twitter, Benjamin TV. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below on the kind of things that you buy when you're at the Wajimaya. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.